Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Popcorn Planet. And man, we have a fun one for you today. The rumor mill is circulating again, and this time it's about The Matrix 4. And that's why we're going to debut this new series I'm calling Reality or Rumor. We are going to break down a rumor on the internet about movies, and I'm going to tell you, should it stay a rumor or should it become reality? Let's break down today's story. Uh, this one is not a, a, like a new one. It's been uh, circulating for a while, uh, but the latest has now gotten traction again over the weekend. Apparently, Michael B. Jordan is set to star in new Matrix movie directed by Lana Wachowski. Uh, now they say that he's been uh, prepared to join the franchise uh, and that Lana is reportedly on board to direct. Uh, now, this rumor uh, got some light uh, back in May because uh, Chad Stahelski uh, was interviewed by Yahoo Movies uh, UK, uh, and they asked him about this, a rumor that had started circulating then. Uh, and he, uh, they asked if you know, he knew of, about their involvement, and he said, I'm super happy that the Wachowskis are not just doing a Matrix, but they're expanding what we all loved. Stahelski told Yahoo Moves, uh, Movies UK, and it's, if it's anywhere near the level of what they've already done, it wouldn't take more than a call to go, hey, we want you to be a stunt guy, and I would probably go get hit by a car. Uh, he confirmed he didn't know who if they were actually going to direct. I'm not sure of the overall. I'm not sure if Lana is, but he assured fans Lana and Lily will be involved creatively in some capacity uh, with bringing their beloved franchise back to life on the big screen. And yeah, the director said if asked if the Wachowskis were out and if they wanted help, I would absolutely put down whatever I was doing to help them. Uh, he was a stunt performer, if you didn't know, in the original Matrix. He's That's what he's known for and obviously now gone into uh, John Wick. But look, this all obviously seemed well and good until his reps later that day confirmed uh, that... He was misquoted in the Yahoo uh, Movies interview. His answers were hypothetical, and he was speaking about his desire for the Wachowskis to return and not confirming that they were involved. Really? I think this one's a little less rumor than people want to say. I mean, I've met Chad Stokowski. He's an awesome, seems straight-laced guy. Just wants to make fun action movies, knows what he's doing. He doesn't play the Hollywood game. I think he absolutely, by accident, said that and didn't realize that that wasn't public knowledge. It happens all the time. Uh, and he's not Mr., you know, he hasn't been around that long to know how he's supposed to handle media interviews. Uh, that was clearly damage control, and I think there's definitely a Matrix for in the works. Whether it's with Michael B. Jordan, whether it's happening as quickly as everyone's reporting, all of that is TBD, but... This is a huge franchise for Warner Brothers, and there's no way that they aren't working on this. And so this, uh, yes, this is rumor, obviously, uh, but apparently the rumors now are saying that it'll be directed by Lana under the working title Project Ice Cream, uh, and it's currently in active development and ready to start shooting in Chicago in the near future. Now, Zach Penn is reportedly writing the script. That's an old rumor. They've been linking him to this for a while. Uh, and nobody, obviously, at Warner Brothers has officially confirmed. Now, look, again, rumor. This is a rumor. Do we want this to be a rumor? And what are the odds of this actually being a rumor? That's what I want to talk about briefly here. I think the odds are pretty great that this isn't a rumor. I think the odds are pretty great that they're making a Matrix. And I think that's clearly something that's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way. They're going to say, leave it alone. I think, though, this is a franchise that definitely dipped down in quality and is a franchise. There's a just coolness to it that I want to see more of. And I think it's a world that was interesting. And I think they completely boffed it and ruined sort of the mystique of the matrix with parts two and three. Uh, so I don't mind if they really took some time to do this right. And, and they got the John wick stunt team back and Keanu makes an appearance. Michael B. Jordan is great. Look, that's a franchise that I, th I, th I, I see why it's a franchise. It should be a franchise and there's no reason it needs to be dead forever. Uh, the matrix opened up and blew our minds and it would be hard to do again today. Uh, cause technology has just been so every action movie's stolen from it. How do you reinvent that wheel? But I don't think you need to go in reinventing the wheel, blowing our mind with action. Just make great action sequences, have a great story, have some amazing, you know, that, that car chase in part two was still really great. So if they can figure out a way to do it, a, a huge new fun sequence that we haven't really seen before, whether it has bullet time or not, I'm on board, and I think Warner Brothers would be stupid to not try and get this franchise up. And let's be honest, uh, the Wachowskis would be stupid too because their, you know, their their uh, filmography hasn't been doing great since then. Uh, they started with Bound, obviously, then made The Matrix. They were involved in V for Vendetta, but didn't direct it. But who knows if how much they really were involved behind the scenes. Then they made Speed Racer, which I actually love. I actually really enjoy Speed Racer. It's completely worth a rewatch. I watched it with my son, and we absolutely just had a blast with it. Uh, and then they wrote Cloud Atlas, and then they made Jupiter Ascending, which, look, knock it all you want. It's visually pretty crazy. Uh, it's a fun watch. Uh, and then they made Sense8, uh, which didn't do, very, you know, got canceled, didn't do as well. Um, I never got to see it, but I, I've heard mixed. I've heard it's good. People who love it, love it. Uh, and then for those of you who don't know who Zach Penn is, 
He started way back with Last Action Hero, made the story for that. PCU, remember that one with Jeremy Piven and then Inspector Gadget behind enemy lines? He was a big deal there in the 90s uh, and then made the story for X-Men 2 uh, as well as Elektra and Fan... And he, well, that was the video game for Fantastic Four. He also did The Last Stand um, and, so, and The Incredible Hulk for Marvel. Uh, and then he wrote part of the story for Avengers. Uh, so Ready Player One is the most recent thing he did. I didn't even know they were making a Karate Kid 2. Apparently, uh, that's been in development for a while with uh, Will Smith. Jaden uh, is uh, Will Smith. Yeah, Jaden Smith. Um, so, look, he's had plenty of misses, but he's also got plenty of hits. So that's something to be to be seen. Uh, but this article about Michael B. Jordan with Lana directing, you know, it's definitely a rumor. I think it's more reality than people want to admit because Warner Brothers wouldn't want to just have that leak out in some John Wick 3 interview. That's definitely not their style. Uh, but I do think this movie will happen. It'd be kind of crazy to not have another Matrix. In this world of we need franchises, we need to redo everything, they're doing Lion King and Aladdin the same year. I mean, come on. Matrix is due. Uh, we're, we're pushing, this is the 20th anniversary right now this year, 99, to that, yeah. We're 20 years away from the original Matrix. Uh, give it a couple years. I think we will absolutely get some new news in this. And I don't mind this idea of Michael B. Jordan. I just, I hope, I hope they have a cool concept. I hope they have a cool concept. But beyond that, I hope they make some sequences that aren't just lazy, but they're really thinking through an amazing action sequence. Because that's really what this movie needs to be about. Blowing your mind with a sort of philosophical viewpoint and doing some new things we haven't seen before. And again, it doesn't have to be bullet time, but it has to be I, even that high cha highway chase in part two, knock the film you want. There were some amazing things happening in that sequence. Uh, so if they can reinvent that in a cool way, um, that feels a little bit more like John Wick fighting style instead of the Fast and the Furious sort of chaos, uh, which I, don't get me wrong, I love that too to, to an extent for a certain period, but I want some John Wick, but like with $300 million. Like what would they do again with $300 million with helicopters and put trains and everything and like let's make it look real, not all CGI. Sign me up for that one. Um, John Wick, huge budget with Neo back, and they have a cool idea. Come on, who's not going to want to see that? Uh, this is not one of those movies where like, you can't touch it. It's, well, they already did touch it. They ruined it. Let's try and fix it, right? Uh, what could they do? I always was a fan of, I thought it'd be cool if they ended The Last Matrix where we realized that Neo and all of this legend stuff was all just part of The Matrix, and it was just a downer. It was just a basically non non-existent point to it all where you realize... Neo is just thinks he's succeeding, but it's all just a trick because the mind's trying to escape and they're just tricking the mind to thinking that they can escape. Uh, but then it kind of be cool to actually figure out if the mind could really escape. Uh, so who knows? Maybe that's stupid. Maybe that's fun, but it would have been better than the architect and all the nonsense they did in revolutions. Oh my God. I freaking hate that movie. Uh, anyway, that's where we stand. I think this is absolutely a rumor, but I think it's not really. What do you think? Do you want them to make a Matrix 4? Do you want to see Michael B. Jordan in it? Or are you getting sick of Michael B. Jordan just being thrown in everything? Uh, tell us down in the comments below. Tell us what you think. What should the Matrix 4 be about if you are into it? Let's hear those ideas. We'll be talking about this story as it develops. And stay tuned for more videos.